everybody. It's time to get going. We're going out on a three day solo getaway in the canoe. Go have some fun. We've been going to this lake here in Nova Scotia. It's called Long Lake. It's found up in Beaverbank, Mount Uniac area. And we are going to go up there. There's a riddled with a whole bunch of little islands. So I went up there last week. As you've seen on my Instagram page, did some exploring, found a little island there. So we're going to go and spend the weekend there, do some exploring in the lake. Funny thing is, is today it is 28 degrees according to the Jeep. It's overcast. Tomorrow we're supposed to get something like 15 to 20 millimeters of rain. I don't care. I didn't want to stay home and then have a turn around and not rain, so I'm going. So we got her all packed up. There's no portage on this, so I read one time a famous canoeist. Bill Mason said, when there's no portages, you can pretty much take the kitchen sink, and that's what we did today. So, I got the 16 foot Eskif canoe, and it's gonna be me, and a lot of junk going in it. Axel's not coming with me this trip because it's been dry, and there's a thing in our waters right now called blue algae. Been a few dogs that have actually died from it. They passed away within about an hour. So, and that's because of the dry, humid summer that we've been having. So, I'm not taking the next of this trip. We're all gonna get some fuel. We're gonna go get Jenny. She's gonna take me back to this area to launch. So, I'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. You know the drill. Get a drink. Get a chair, pull up, get comfy. So we got a couple neat things we want to show you this trip too. So, off to get gas and off to our own little private island on Long Lake, Mount Muniac. Hey okay, people, here we are. Oh, we're on Long Lake. We're almost to the island. Jenny, my lovely wife, has dropped me off. And we are loaded down like absolutely ridiculous. So, any of the folks that are following me, that I'll show you the canoe when we get ashore. 16 foot canoe, fully loaded. Everything with the kitchen sink and just enough room for me to sit. So we're two o'clock in the afternoon. It's not a really big paddle to get to where we're going. We're going to set up a base camp and then we're going to explore over the next couple days, depending on the weather for tomorrow. If it's really bad and raining, we will hang out at the campsite and read a book and just enjoy ourselves. I think we might have service back here. I'm not sure if we do or not. So if I do, for those people that are watching this on YouTube, you missed out on it, unless you're on my Instagram and the Old Bassett Outdoors Facebook page. So, needless to say, that's the last plug for that. This is this is crazy. It's two two o'clock in the afternoon. It's about a three kilometer hour or three knot wind, about a five mile an hour wind that just kind of comes up and then goes down. This must be the calm before the storm because tomorrow's supposed to be nasty. So we're gonna go see if we can find a island anyway. As I said before, these they're all dotted around the place. This guy behind me there. That's awesome. Oh. What's neat back here is that there's actually there's camps back here that got grandfathered in when they determined this to be a uh, protected wilderness area. So, there is a few, 
like three of them that I'm aware of, and they're privately owned. So if you do come back in this area and you do come across them, just leave them be. Don't go in there exploring. It's somebody's private property. Be nice, folks. The other thing I'd like to add is when you're in this area, or any wilderness area, or any time that you're tripping in the woods, or hiking, or anything else, you pack it in, pack it out. I brought all kinds of junk with me, and I'll bring it all out with me when I leave. Shit balls is nice back here. So I purchased a two-person tent off of Amazon. It's a little dome tent they call the Four Seasons. This will be the first weekend for using that. Amazon. It was 105 bucks. So, you know what? That's not a bad gig. 100 bucks for a tent. I just needed something small because I knew it was just going to be me or me and Axel. So, there's our island. I see it. Full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. Let's see if I can get you a view from the thing out of here. Dropping you around. And we'll see her go around that way. You can see the trees there with the rock coming off to the right hand side. That's our island we're going to, and there's some rocks right in the middle. That's where we're going to land. That's our tiny little island. This back here. There's like nothing. So keep in mind if you come back in this area and you're going to camp, this is wilderness. There's no designated campsites. These rocks are awesome. That water drops off right at the shore. Like you can jump off them rocks, no problem. You're not touching bottom. At least in this location. Oh. Here we go. Tune back in when we get ashore. Probably after I get the camp set up in that. All right, I got four battery packs. I have no way of recharging them. I'm hoping that'll be enough for the weekend. So, look at that. This is awesome. Love it, love it. Over there, I don't know. I'm loving it. Peace, people. Oh, it's the old bastard outdoors, and I'm wishing everybody a wonderful weekend. The sun's just coming down onto the horizon. And we are all set up, or I am all set up. And this is my view, Long Lake, Mount Uniac. There's a public boat launch that you can use to get here. So it is a subdivision, it's the village is Long Lake. And if you look way down in the distance there, you can see a couple homes. Uh, where I am now, if you look from here all the way to the left that I just panned from the sun there, that's all crown land, it's all wilderness protected. And when we go down this way, it's all wilderness protected. So, anyway, this yeah. is where I have the fire later. I got the chair all set up. The nice cold beer, there's my view. Well, fire later. I got steaks for tonight and ribs. Full rack of ribs. Steak, prime rib, steak. It's all good. Grab my glasses here. Take a little walk down. So I'm on the point of the island. And I said before, I think this island's probably about 100 meters in length and maybe, I don't know, 50 across. A big island. So we truck down this way. Do, 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 do. I love this shit. So, we have a little pathway that we cleared earlier. And we come down, here's the setup. So we got the tent off to the left. That's my $100 Amazon tent. And we got the tarp all set up. Everything's set up for in the morning. 
for when I get up. So we got the stick stove and I'm using one of these woods uh six hour wick things. Oh look at this. We got visitors. It's a rare Nova Scotian caterpillar. Highly daily. I don't know, maybe. I was going for Timmy's. Get out of here. So anyway. There it is. Air horn. So this is actually, I don't normally use this on an island, but that is in case I get into trouble, I can signal or if anything comes swimming out to me or running through the woods, just give a little toot on that. There's the bed for tonight. Two person tent, nothing fancy. Got the canoe hauled up here. My famous well shit decline on the bottom from my lovely wife. This will be the view in the morning. Other than we're supposed to get hit by a torrential rainfall. So here we are. In the meantime, I'm going to share this on my Facebook page. And if you're not already subscribed, check out my Instagram page. There's a lot more activity on that. I'll also be doing a YouTube video there. So if you're not, subscribe to my Old Bastard Outdoors on YouTube. Check it out. All kinds of silly videos there. And the back side of the island. So peace, people. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. And I will be speaking with you later. Well, there you go, folks. And there you have it. It's day one with the old bastard outdoors. And this is our view. The sun's just starting to go down. We got about another 15, 20 minutes of um, light out. It's the calm before the storm. Tomorrow we're supposed to get a whole bunch of rain. It's like 20 millimeters in the afternoon within about three to four hours. It's supposed to clear off Saturday evening. So, we get this set up. Our camp's all set up. Pan down here. The fire is going. Oh yeah, let me come back here or something. Get to do the big photo shows. Hell yeah. So, anyway, I'm alone. All by myself with the loaded canoe and all the gadgets that I could possibly fit on it. Or in it. I even brought a table with me. Good God almighty, and lawn chairs. But it's fun. No, portage. I started so. doing this YouTube Heck. page for fun. And I follow a lot of people there that, you know, kind of inspire me. So I'll do shout out to them. Uh, a lot of people know him. Joe Robinett. Who's on loan. Uh, Greener Dave. Who's on his big trip there up in the north right now. As I'm recording this. Oh, God. Kevin Callen. Inspires me. From getting out there. and Kevin used to, from what I understand... Do a lot of older canoe routes that people hadn't done in years, and he was the one of the reasons a lot of them became parks. Some people don't like Kevin. I like him. I'm trying to follow in his footsteps and do the same thing. And explore areas that haven't been done in years. And if I can help or assist in them becoming wilderness areas, I'm all for that. Uh, Camper Christine, which I've mentioned in my videos before. Hats off to her. She's one brave lady. She goes out and does these five-day trips and more. She's a kayaker, but I won't hold that against her. Sorry, Christine, but I'm a canoeist. Uh, Sean, friend of Joe's there. This awesome job in his videos. All these people, they, 
I come out and I do these trips and I enjoy it. And I think when I started watching YouTube and seeing these people do this, I want to inspire others to do it just like they inspired me to do it. So I think that's one of the reasons I, I stay local. The HRM or the Halifax Regional Municipality in here in Nova Scotia, there are areas that are just unpopulated. Susie Lake is one of the ones that, you know, you're just outside of Bears Lake. And you can camp back there and you are literally, as a crow flies, minutes away from a population of people. But yet when you're camping there, you can't hear a thing. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, have fun doing this. Get out there tomorrow. and explore, That's whether it's for a day. Out. I hope to add a few things for a night. Give you a couple weekend. tips and tricks for doing stuff. One being love fire in the rain. Weeks. I'll show you how I pimped out my stick stove. And, booyah. yeah. All kinds of other fun stuff. I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to lay in the tent for the entire day until the rain stops. Oh, my God. I hope it doesn't get too crazy. There it is, folks. The end of day one. Peace, everyone. Have fun no matter what you're doing. So if you're not having fun doing it, on something else. Life's too short. Sure.